Good morning everyone. The second part of data management is the measures of dispersion. Sometimes the measures of dispersion is called also the measures of variability. Unlike in the measures of central tendency, it tries to find the center of gravity of the scores whereas in the measures of dispersion, it tries to find out the spread or the variation of the scores from the mean. So there are three types of measures of dispersion. These are the range, the standard deviation, and the variance. The range of a set of data values is the difference between the greatest data value and the least data value. That is, range is equal to the highest value minus the lowest value. So if we have the scores from 5 to 20, so the highest is 20 and the lowest is 5, the range is 15. 20 minus 5 is 15. Whereas the standard deviation of a set of numerical data makes use of the individual amount that each data value deviates from the mean. These deviations are represented by x minus the mean. And the variance is simply the square of the standard deviation. The formula for variance is S squared, where S is the standard deviation. This is for the sample equals sigma times x minus mean quantity squared divided by n minus 1. Or uh, this is also read as S squared equals the sum of x minus mean squared divided by n minus 1. Some characteristics of data set may not be apparent from the measures of central tendencies. The central tendencies are the mean, median, mode, and weighted average. The average values do not reflect the spread or dispersion of data. The measures of dispersion are quantities that describe for us the dispersion of a given data set. To illustrate the measures of dispersion or how it is computed, let's take uh, this example. Carlo is not only an academic geek, he is also a sprinter. Every afternoon, he trains for a 100-meter dash race. His time record is as follows. 12.5 seconds, 11.5 seconds, 12.5 seconds, 11.5 seconds, then up to 11.5 seconds. And to clearly visualize the scores, let us organize the data in a tabular form. So, if we have 12.5, the data is uh, tabulated per class. 12.3 seconds, 12.1, 12.0, 11.9, and 11.5. Then finding the frequency, merong dalawang 12.5, merong tatlong 12.3, then there are 5, 12.1, 4, 12.0, 4, 11.9, and 6, 11.5 seconds. And finding the range of Carlos running time, so that is 12.5 minus 11.5, that is 1.0 second. Now, the next question is, what is the average of Carlos running time? So, finding the mean where 12.5 is multiplied by 2, 12.3 is multiplied by frequency of 3, 12.1 times 5, 12.0 times 4, 11.9 times 4, 11.5 times 6. And the value after finding the sum of all the products, 
divided by the number of cases which is 24 therefore the average of Carlos running time or the mean is equal to 11.96 seconds so what is the significance of finding the mean of Carlos running time so it is very significant in computing the standard deviation so as defined the standard deviation of a set of numerical data makes use of the individual amount that each data value deviates from the mean. So, ang gagamitin natin dito, since ang kinuha natin ay sample, the formula is S, which stands for the standard deviation, is equal to the square root of the summation quantity X minus mean squared divided by N minus 1 where x bar is the weighted mean, x is the data entry, and n is the number of entries. Okay, let's compute for the standard deviation. So, dun, on the first column is the duration or the data entries of Carlos running time. On the second column is the frequency. And then, on the third column is the time entry minus the mean so remember that the mean is 11.96 that is 12.5 minus 11.96 is 0 0.54 12.3 minus 11.96 is 0 0.34 then let's take it randomly 11.9 minus 11.96 is negative 0 0.06 and 11.5 minus 11.96 is negative 0 0.46 and get the squares of x minus the mean so we have 0 0.54 squared is 0 0.2916 0 0.34 squared is 0 0.1156 0 0.14 squared is 0 0.0196 and negative 0 0.46 is 0 0.2116 and then multiplying all these uh, squares uh, by the frequency so we have 2 times 0 0.2916 is 0 0.5832 3 times 0 0.1156 is 0 0.3468 0 0.0036 times 4 is 0 0.0144 0 0.2116 times 6 is 1.2696 the sum of the squares of x minus mean at times the frequency is 2.3184 and substituting it in the formula is equal to s equals the square root of 2.3184 divided by 23 is 0 0.32 seconds therefore the standard in standard deviation of uh, carlos running time is 0 0.32 then comparing it to mark's standard deviation although Mark's running time is not specified above. So, nakalagay dito is 0 0.36. And then, finding the variance of Carlos running time is S squared, which is 0 0.32. Squared is 0 0.10. Whereas, Mark's standard deviation is 0 0.36 and the variance is 0 0.13 okay, that is how to compute the standard deviation the range and the variance thank you very much